right, so first things first, you have to want to work from home. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing that is something that you are interested in, maybe even like in the future or right now, whatever it is for you. I knew that once the pandemic really hit, it actually did click even more so for me. I've always kind of wanted to work from home to be home with my babies, but I also love teaching in the classroom. So it was really like a catch 22, right? Because I still wanted to teach, but I wanted to be home with my own kids. And then when the pandemic hit, I had no choice anyways. I had to go home and be with my children and still teach. And we were just doing it all virtual. And I'm like, wow, like as much as it was kind of crazy at first and definitely overwhelming and like I all the things like I get in the teacher community if you know you know but I also fell in love with it and was like wow this is pretty fantastic I get to wake up a little bit later because there's no travel time now there's no like getting ready and the hustle and the bustle and the commute like not all that disappeared and I was like wow that's great for me I'm not a morning person, so not having to do any of that was pretty wonderful. Also, as most of us know in the pandemic, you can wear whatever you want on the bottoms because no one sees that part. So sweatpants, leggings, comfy socks, slippers, blankets over you, all of that is a go because no one can see it. So you can really have ultimate comfort like in your home. Um, it was pretty amazing. So for me, although it turned a little crazy, it also was like, wow, I want to do this forever. I want to be able to have my children home and I want to be able to teach and I still want to be able to do all the things that I want to do. So I was like, I need to find out like how to keep this going. Now I had already been working for a company called VIP Kid, but their hours are a little bit tricky because they're in China, right? So I could only work my early, early in the morning or really, really late at night. And I still did it during that time because I just loved doing it. Like Working with the children in China, oh, it was my first like really um, online experience with children and I loved it so much. But it definitely was something where I'd like do it like hardcore and then I'd kind of taper off a little bit just because it was very demanding with the hours. And again, I wasn't a morning person so I didn't always want to do the morning hours. I would do it more late at night after my kids went to bed. I'd go on and do like a couple of night classes and I loved it. And it was more just like that extra spending money, right? So that's what I was doing. And then I was like, wow, when the pandemic hit, fast forward, all the stuff I was just saying, I was like, wow, I really, I really wish that I could teach online. And then I had remembered that I found this company during the pandemic called OutSchool and I had signed up, I got approved, I did all the things, but I just never like went on and actually like taught a class or did anything with it. Why? I don't really know. There was like a thousand other things going on in my life, I guess, that I just, I had done it and then I just never went back. So fast forward now, February 2020, I signed up in May 2019 and for May, all the way to February 2020, I did nothing with it. I was like ready to go. I just never did anything. It Probably a regret now because I really wish I could have been teaching this whole time. But so February 2020, I started teaching. Um, I was working in the public schools at this point, and I was just kind of like trying to figure out what exactly it was that I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to work from home, but I wasn't quite sure exactly how I was going to do all the things yet. Um, but I knew I wanted to teach in some capacity. So I kept the VIP kit up, but now I'm like, hmm, what should I do? So I was like, hey, I remember that company out school. I, I was like on YouTube and I heard people talking about it again. And I was like, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I signed up for that. I'm pretty sure I did that. So I did. And I went back on my emails. I found my email. I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to figure this out. So I went on the platform. I started taking their training and all of their videos and things that they have to offer. I went on YouTube and I started watching other YouTubers who are out school teachers. And I was like, yeah, I'm doing this. So I went full fledged. And then from February to June, I was really able to say to my husband, all right, this is it. Like, I'm going off on my own. I am all about this. Like, m the money is great. I was making, you know, up to very close to my income that I was earning from the school. Um, may it was maybe like a little bit less, but we still had kids in daycare. So I'm like, if we take the kids in daycare out, because I'll be home, and we have my teaching, like, we can figure this out. My husband was really weary because he's very traditional, which I get. But I was able to be like, hey, I really want to do this. Like, let's do it at least for the summer. He's like, all right, like, let's do it. Um, August comes around. We are doing massive home renovations. We added an entire floor to our house. So amongst, like, all the craziness already, I was, like, off doing my own thing. And the summer was fantastic. It was absolutely amazing. I'm doing all the things. I get to be home, which I'm normally home during the summer anyways because as a teacher, I still work, but I'm home. Um, but then September came around. I'm like, all right, this is it. Like we gotta, 
nose to the grindstone, right? We're going to do this. And I did. And it's now January of 2022. I'm still teaching on out school. Um, VIP kid, if you're not in the teacher zone of VIP kid, they had this whole like transition where hours of change and new programs are coming about and I'm still working with them, but trying to figure out exactly what to do with that platform. But OutSchool has been amazing. And then amongst all that, I have been able to start coaching other teachers how to teach on OutSchool or online in general, starting your own brand and teaching others. So whether that's children or adults, whatever the thing is. So my advice to you is to find something that you really love. Like I love teaching. I've been teaching since I can remember. Since I was little, I loved doing it. Um, and so find your passion, right? Find the thing that you want to teach, even if it's not like teaching as in the sense of like math, history, science, like, cause we hear the word teaching or teacher and we just think of like academics, public school, things like that. But teaching doesn't just have to be those core subjects. Teaching can be anything that you have a passion about that somebody else doesn't already know. So think about your passion And then how can you teach others how to start or begin or want tips and tricks about the thing that you love? So for an example, if you loved to cook or bake, you could then go on social media platforms and start thinking about what you started to learn as a beginner so you can start helping other people in that platform. Because I can do those things, baking and cooking, but I'm not great at it. I would definitely watch videos about how to do things better because I don't know all the things. So if you're loving cooking and you're like, oh, I have all these like tips and tricks that I do or recipes that I do and like I could totally share them, start doing it. What are you waiting for? Build your own brand of cooking. You can still share your own life, your own personal things, but along the way on your stories and Instagram or YouTube or whatever platform you decide to use, you can start teaching other people how to do those things because I guarantee you there is somebody in this world that does not know what you know. I guarantee you. Like, come to my house if I'm wrong. (laughs) There is somebody out there who does not know the things that you know. It's just hard for us to recognize that sometimes because we already know it, so we don't know what we don't know, right? There's a thinking one for you. So start from the beginning and the basics and then start just making little short clips. Um, I can really get into a whole social media thing if that's what people are interested in, but that's my first suggestion. If you're wanting to start working from home, you have to start sharing with people on social media what it is that you're passionate about and how you can help them. How can you give value to other people and then the trickle happens of how you can start working on your own. Because what happens is when you're on social media and you start sharing things about a very specific niche, a niche is like one thing that you can help other people with. When you start saying like every day on Instagram, hey, here's cooking tip number one. Hey, if you've never done this, try this. If you've never used this pan, try this one. If you've not, That's how you start promoting yourself and teaching, okay? So it doesn't have to be like, a uh, common core subject, like it can be anything in the world. And eventually, if you are consistent and you post about that thing, people are going to be like, oh, yeah, uh, that girl, Melinda, she knows everything about cooking. Go to her. She knows what she's talking about. OK. Oh, um, Andrea. Yeah, she knows how to teach online, too. Um, I'm going to go to her. She seems to be really, really valuable. Like, I, I think I'm going to go and talk to her. Oh, Cindy, she knows all about hair products. Oh, wait, Alyssa has her own salon. This one has that. All these things. Like when you start pinpointing yourself to be in a certain niche, people are going to start going to you and say, oh, that girl, she always posts hair tutorials. I'm going to go to her because I don't know how to make a French braid. I'm going to go to her channel because she probably has something about this. Because once you start telling people who you are and what you're all about, they're going to start going to you. And then word of mouth, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, my girl, she go to this Salon Volition on Instagram, go to her. She knows exactly what she's talking about. Go, she'll have a tutorial on that. Um, So that's how it works. People start figuring out who you are and what you're all about. Then you can start monetizing that. Monetization means you're going to get money for doing the thing that you love. There's so many different ways that you can monetize yourself. Literally, like, endless. But I always say, um, if you haven't heard me say this already, millionaires have more than one stream of income. So that's where us other people out there who didn't know this 
is if you only have one stream of income coming in, that's why you're not rich. You need to have multiple streams of income. So there's multiple ways for you to be able to work from home. You just have to know how to start and how to get that going. So start by doing like an Instagram or Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever. Start posting about your passion and the things that can help other people, giving, in, giving, giving them advice, tips and tricks, whatever. And then you're going to start saying, okay, what's the next thing I can do to start monetizing that? Now, Instagram actually has ways, too, that they will help you monetize. There's affiliate links. There's YouTube. There's TikTok. There's Etsy. There's coaching. There's um, co making your own courses. You could teach things on OutSchool. You don't have to have a like dedicated teaching license to do that. So um, you're teaching on OutSchool anyway from 3 to 18. And so you could teach on there. There's all kinds of courses for kids. Baking, graphic design, coding, um, crafting, knitting, teaching, gaming, how to make your own bath salts. Like literally, out school is not just for your typical teacher. It's for anybody. So there's all different ways. Um, affiliate links. I don't think I said that, but there's all different ways that you can monetize yourself and you can still work full time while you beginning doing these things. Like I did. I started all of these things before I was like, okay, I'm ready to quit my job because now I have multiple streams of income coming in and it's not just one. Like, it's not just out school that I'm getting money from. There's lots of different ways I'm earning money. So that's how I'm able to do it. That's how I'm able to work from home because I have different outlets. So if you want to work from home, you got to do this step-by-step -step process, okay? So if you're interested in learning more detailed tutorials and tips and tricks and all the things, you're going to want to hit the description box below my group, Be Your Own Boss. In that group, I am sharing with you exactly how I did what I did to get to where I am today, and that is working from home with multiple streams of income. And I get to work whenever I want, on my own schedule, however I want. And if you're wanting to do that, then you're going to want to be in that group because that's where I'm going to be dishing out all of the little secrets, okay, that I'm not like going on every single day and giving the nitty gritty about like, that's a special group for people who are like, yes, this is what I want. How do I do this? So description box below, get in there. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. So you know, every time I put out a new video every week, and that way you can get more information like this. And if you are interested in teaching on out school, I also have a link down in that description below and a special group for that successful online teachers where I talk specifically about how to be an online teacher and how to have successful enrollments and income coming in through that as well. So definitely check me out if you're interested in more of those things. And I would love to help you on your journey to be able to work from home and be your own boss. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.